Hi, my name is Lisa Dietrich from Avago Technologies and I'm here to speak to you today about isolation. Avago, formerly HP, have been selling optical isolation products for over 30 years. In the past few years we've noticed there's a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace with regards to using alternative isolation devices in the same kind of applications that have been used for optocouplers, for example. So the question is, can I do that? And the answer is, it's not that simple. It depends. So there are applications where the working voltage is not that high, um, maybe up to 30 volts DC, where it's okay to use alternative isolation devices, where maybe only basic insulation is required, or a galvanic insulation. But in the cases that are safety relevant, working with higher voltages, you will most likely still need to use optocouplers. Also, if you want to refer to the safety standard, the international standard of the IEC 60747-5-5, if your end equipment requires this standard, then you will need to use optocouplers because only those are certified for that. It could also be you have an application where the working voltage is not that high, but you decide to use optocouplers instead because of the better performance in terms of EMI, immunity, or in terms of crosstalk performance, signal integrity, their optocouplers are known to have that higher performance. So in the case of the question as a designer that you should be asking yourself is, is my isolation really safe? Because as a designer, you're responsible for that at the end of the, of the day, that the end equipment meets the standards and also that nobody gets hurt, because that's why we use optocouplers in high voltage applications. If you have any questions regarding this, then please do contact Avago Technologies or EBV for further information. Thank you.